guys, it's Clarissa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be recreating this look right here, which is inspired by Casey Musgraves' Biscuit music video that just came out, I believe, two days ago. I absolutely love the song. Had no idea she was coming out with the video. Love the video even more. I hope you like this look. It's a very soft look. Um, she did have everything mainly pink. Um, she didn't have any crazy contouring. She was a little bit bronzed. Um, but it was really just a nice pink blush, a nice pretty glow, her pink lips, very neutral eye, um, long lashes, and I'm talking with my hands. Long lashes, it's just very soft and natural looking. Um, so if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. First I'm using my Wet n Wild Creme Brulee Shadow and I'm using that to highlight the brow bone as well as set my eyeshadow base, which is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. <laughs> And the shadows I'm going to be using today are Makeup Geek shadows. Those are my favorite basic shadows. I have all of the, like I said, the basic shades. Taking a Morphe M330 brush, and I'm going to take the color Latte, and I'm going to add that into the crease. $1 shader brush and I'm taking the color Peach Smoothie also from Makeup Geek and I'm adding that onto the lid. Taking a little bit more of that latte color adding it into the crease Blending it to make sure I didn't lose any intensity when I added the peach smoothie color. Now with my Kat Von D shade and light palette, I'm taking the two lightest colors, the yellow and the pink peachy color, and I'm using that to highlight my brow bone and clean up any mistakes. I'm using the Maybelline Master Prime. And I'm putting that all over my face. I did already moisturize with the Cetaphil Oil Control Moisturizer. It's only my second time using that. Um, not sure how I like it yet. Today I'm using the All May Smart Shade CC Concealer and Brightener. And this is in the shade Medium. It's got an orange and like a peach color. So I'm going to take that peach. And use this under my eyes. Just going to help brighten a little. Said I am going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation. I do have a review for this, which I will link below. That was a first impressions, actually. All I'm doing is dotting that on my face, and then I'm going to be blending it out with a Real Technique sponge. You want to make sure you're patting the sponge on your face and not really like sliding it around to get the most coverage. In the video, Casey had a very light under eye, so I am taking my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Light. If I can get this open, this is a brand new one. And of course, I just chip my polish. A triangle effect right under, or triangle motion, right under my eyes. I go right down to the end of my nose, not so much to brighten that area, but I like to use a little bit more concealer around my nose because that's where I get the most redness. Depending on your face shape is depending on how far you want to take this. So like I said, this is just a highlight and conceal at the same time. You want to make sure you blend that concealer in with your foundation. Not too far, but you don't want to have a, a significant. You don't want to have a significant line where your concealer starts and finishes. For my 
under eyes, I will be using that same Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I'm going to mix these two colors, the pinkish shade and the yellowish shade, and I'm going to use that right underneath my eyes in a patting motion to set that. You want to make sure, if you're using a lighter concealer to brighten, you want to make sure you're using a lighter powder to set that as well. If you use the same powder that you're using all over your face, it just defeats the purpose. And for the rest of my face, I am going to be using a mixture of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Plus. I like that the L'Oreal, and mine's broken, um, keeps me matte. finish up the eyes, I'm going to take a small detailed brush in that color Latte again. I'm going to tap off any of the excess product so you don't have too much. And I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take this right underneath my eye. Like I said, Casey had a very soft look. I don't want it to be anything too harsh. I'm taking that same detailed brush in the color Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek and I'm adding that on the middle of the lid in the inner corner for some added highlight. Alright, so I'm going to be taking my CoverGirl eyeliner. I'm not sure if I can do this in frame, but I am going to be creating just a very small wing, not so much a wing, just kind of extended past my eye. Eyeliner is not the easiest thing to do on camera, so I did finish that off camera along with my mascara. Here I am taking two Too Faced blushes, or sorry, bronzers. I'm using the Sun Bunny and, uh, what is it, Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And I'm just using a mix of that to bronze up my face. Nothing too dark, just a little bit of glow. I'm taking a very pink pigmented blush by Milani. I believe it's Bella Rosa. I will put the correct name down below. And I'm barely tapping my brush in, tapping off the excess, and tapping this on my cheeks. Like I said, it is extremely pigmented. So I'm adding a little bit at a time on each side, and then I'm going to further blend this out. I'm going to just keep blending, especially if you put as much on as I did. As a highlight, I am going to be using a Gerard Cosmetics highlight. Now, I do see all the drama that's going on after I purchase these, so I will not be purchasing from them again, but it is a really gorgeous highlight. This is in the color Maryland. I'm just adding that on the top of my cheekbones, and you need to make sure you do not over apply this because it is extremely pigmented. Here I am taking a CoverGirl Outlast lip stain. I believe it's in the color 543. I will list the color below. And a L'Oreal lip gloss, both in a light pink shade, something a little bit different than what Casey had on because my skin tone is different, but whatever works, what works for you. And that is the finished look. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, hit the Bye. thumbs up button. Bye. Go ahead. Bye. I'll wait for you. Just kidding. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all.